So what's up guys, I am Black Ops Amazing, welcome back to another Zombies video on the channel, another Zombies Q&A where we take your questions from the comments section below to do with the zombie storyline, easter eggs and other stuff like that and answer them. So as always if you enjoyed the video, drop a like rating, make sure you are subbed and without further ado, let's get into it. Here we go, and also, also, I just want to mention, follow me on Twitter, because I'll be giving away some beta codes for BO4 closer to the date, so if you want to get them, again, just follow me on Twitter, links down in the description. So anyway, getting into today's questions, first one from I'm one old fart, um, okay, says, <laughs> hey BOA, why was the summoning key left on Earth instead of being just destroyed? Why wasn't it left on a random barren planet, chucked in a black hole, or so many other things that would have been better than just more or less leaving it lying on the ground? Also, if they wanted a battle realm mode, they should have scrapped multiplayer and kept the campaign. Well, we know that the summoning key was created by the Keepers. It was created by them many, many years ago, and they made it as a device that would allow them to manipulate the ether, giving them the power to alter reality. And so we know that they used the summoning key to create our god. Now, I'm not sure exactly how the summoning key ended up from being in the hands of the Keepers years and years ago, but somehow, eventually, it ended up in the South Pacific or Russia. We know that on December the 14th of 1943, a reporter recovered loads of artifacts from both of these places, and among them, was the summoning key. So somehow the summoning key ended up somewhere in Russia or the South Pacific. Like I said, I don't know how it ended up here. Maybe the keepers lost it. Maybe they hid it here and it just happened to be found by someone. Maybe the keepers hid it here thinking that no one would ever know where it is, but obviously they did because this reporter found it. Like I said, we don't really know the reason why it's in Russia, but it was. As you said, why wasn't it just destroyed? Why wasn't it left on another planet, chucked in a black hole or something? Well, we don't really know. I mean, the Keepers created this, so why would they want to destroy it? Yes, it is the most powerful artifact in any universe, but if it's in the right hands, then it could do good. So why would the Keepers want to have destroyed it. Also, we don't know exactly if it can be destroyed. We see at the end of the Revelations Easter Egg, Dr. Maxis ends up being trapped inside of the summoning key, and then he uses that to his advantage, but we don't know exactly if the summoning key can be destroyed. Maybe it can't. But I do have to agree that it is a little bit strange that the most powerful artifact in any universe was just lying around in Russia. And then you also said in this question, if they wanted a battle realm mode, they should have just scrapped the multiplayer well. That for me wouldn't make sense. Multiplayer is the main reason people play COD and the campaign isn't really played by a lot of people or a lot of people do play it but if you actually take a look at the statistics the completion rate of the campaigns is about I think it's like 7 5%, something like that, maybe a little bit higher, but less than 10% of people that play COD usually play or complete the campaign. And also apparently the campaign was actually made and it was Activision that decided to scrap it, not Treyarch. And honestly, the campaigns for COD have been really crap over the past couple of years. Over the past, I'd say three or four years, they've been pretty bad. In fact, there's about two of them that I just haven't finished because, I don't know, I just wasn't into it. And Battle Royale for me, I'm really looking forward to that. So you know what, I, I can't complain. The next question from I am not going to pronounce your name, but he says, Hey BOA, do you think that the Raygun Mark IV will be in Black Ops 4? Now, this is a difficult one to predict because we know that Black Ops 4 is in a whole new universe. It's a whole new world, a whole new story. As far as we're aware, it's not connected to the old Ether story, which means things like Dr. Monty, Group 935, Element 115 don't exist. We also have a new set of characters, and since we know that the old ray guns were created by things in our old storyline, then it wouldn't make sense for a ray gun Mark IV to be in our new story since there's no connection. We knew that the ray gun Mark I, the original one, was created by Dr. Maxi, same member of Group 935. The ray gun Mark II was created by Dr. Porter, again a member of Group 935. And the ray gun Mark III was created by the Russians. They used stolen Group 935 research to create the Russian Gigant robot, the Russian Mangler, and also the ray gun Mark II. Three. So you can see the ray guns were made by groups, either Group 935, who were the Germans or the Russians, in our Ether storyline. But since none of these groups are present in our new story, well then it wouldn't really make sense for there to be a 
Raygun Mark IV since, well, there won't be a Raygun Mark I, II or III, right? Surely these Group Nile 35 weapons won't be in our new storyline since Group Nile 35 doesn't exist. And actually, that gets me thinking that it's going to be strange not having the ray gun in zombies anymore, right? Surely that's how it's going to work. Surely we're not going to have the ray gun in our new story since it's made by 935 and they're not in it. So what reason would we have for the ray gun to exist. Maybe there'll be a new version of the ray gun that's created by a new group or a weapon that's similar to it that we could, you know, get used to. But you know what? I'm, I'm gonna miss the freaking ray gun, man. If it's true that it's not in there, then I'm, that that's kind of sad. Although it, it wasn't really too good later on in our maps. We had better weapons. So getting back to the original question, will the ray gun mark for being zombies, it, it really wouldn't make sense for it to be in our new story. However, we also know that our old story is in Black Ops 4 as well, the Ether story with Blood of the Dead. So there's a chance that we'll still be able to use the ray guns in that map. And maybe if they do carry on with the old Ether story in Black Ops 4, so we have two separate storylines, the new one and the old one. Let's say, for example, we could get two maps per DLC, one for the old story, one for the new story. Then there's a chance that with the old story later on down the line, we somehow get the ray gun mark four who's gonna create it i don't know but we'll just have to wait and see kai killer says boa do you think black ops 4 will end the zombie storyline love your videos so you're basically asking me after black ops 4 zombies is finished after we've had the whole cycle of ba4 do I think we'll be getting any more after that? Well, I mean, everything has to come to an end, right? I mean, Zombies has been going on, what, for now 10 years? It started in 2008. By the time Black Ops 4 is over, it's going to be 11 years plus another year on that, probably with extra content. So... 12 years of Treyarch Zombies and then of course it's not going to be until 2021 until we get the next Treyarch game after that so that'll be 15 years plus more 16 years of Zombies can you imagine I, I, <laughs> I honestly don't know how far they could actually go with that but we are getting a brand new storyline in Black Ops 4 and if we're having a whole new storyline well that's like starting from the beginning which means technically we'll only have one year of zombies. That's if they continue with this new storyline and it doesn't just end like it kind of did in Black Ops 2 after three maps and then go back to the older characters. But even if they did that, obviously they can do whatever they want with zombies. There's different timelines, storylines, universes they can go to. They can make up whatever they want. You know, it, it's zombies at the end of the day. Treyarch can do what they want with it. I still think there's so much more they can do. Obviously, I wouldn't like them to end it. I'd like it to go on forever. But all good things come to an end. Good, but no, I'm joking. Please, please don't, please don't end it. Honestly, I really don't know. I don't think Black Ops 4 will be the end of Zombies. I think they're going to carry on after that. I mean, why end it when it's still so popular? I don't think anyone wants it to end. I mean, and really, we've only actually had three or four games that have had Zombies. Black Ops 4 is only going to be the fourth installment in the Black Ops series, which isn't many compared to loads of other game series out there. The Assassin's Creed series has gone on for freaking years now. How many of them games have we got? 10? 11 and i think as long as people keep wanting it it will carry on the next question from kevin micro no no says hey boa does five have anything to do about the storyline anything have to do anything uh, so sorry let me, let me let me start again hey boa does five have anything to do with the storyline that, that, that'll do. Well, every map's important to our zombie storyline, but 5 is just as important as any map, and it has had a lot to do with the storyline. Obviously, 5 takes place in the Pentagon, and so when Group 935 was disabandoned in 1945, it was the Pentagon that hired former Group 935 scientists to work at their facility. Whilst we know that the Ascension Group, or the Russians, hired other Group 935 scientists, the Americans at five also did the same not only that we know that when de Reese was abandoned the scientists from five went there and recovered former group 935 technology and then took it back to the pentagon and using that they managed to create their own versions of the teleporter the pentagon began to experiment on their own versions of the undead you may be thinking okay but none of that really has a big impact on our story which is kind of true but also after creating these teleporters the u.s government transferred a number of element 115 
experiments to the Groom Lake facility. Now, we knew that the Groom Lake facility is the starting area of Moon, the area on Earth. If I'm correct in thinking, it was them that transferred the teleporter to Groom Lake. And without that teleporter there, our original characters of Richtoff and Takio, Nikolai and Dempsey wouldn't have been able to teleport from Groom Lake to the Moon. So that's one big implication in our storyline that Five has. We also know that the Pentagon Thief was sent from Ascension to Five to kill the characters that we play as there. And we know that Five has two different endings. In one universe, the Five characters survive, and in another universe, they die. We also know that the US government created Broken Arrow. Obviously, there's a link between the US government and the Pentagon. So without that, more than likely, there'd be no Broken Arrow, which is where Rustman came from. So no Rustman, no Transit Crew, no Transit Buried, Die Rise. Without the Transit Crew, that means no Cronorium. With no Cronorium, that's no BO3 Zombies. So Five has a massive link to do with the zombie storyline like i said just the same as every other map anyway guys there we go that is all i have for you for today's video as always hopefully you have enjoyed if you have you know what to do drop a like rating if you don't want to it's totally fine make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest content on the channel and i will see you all in the next video until then goodbye